Francine's tough day. Put the alien together. Hey, thanks for finding my history project. I was worried I wouldn't be able to turn it in today. Oh, no! I forgot! Mr. Ratburn's going to give me an F. What am I going to do? I don't want to get a bad grade. I wonder what I should do. Here are some things I could do. Explore what might happen. Okay, class. Time to hand in your history projects. Buster, that looks very creative. And Francine, where's your project? Uh, Mr. Ratburn, I thought it was due next week. Is there any way I can still turn it in? I'm disappointed, Francine. You've known about this history project for weeks. I know. I feel terrible. I don't know how I forgot, but I did. Francine, you're usually a very good student, so I'll trust that you simply made a mistake. You have two days to hand in your project, but you're going to lose points for lateness, so it had better be spectacular. Phew! Thank you so much, Mr. Ratburn. I promise it'll be great. I told the truth to Mr. Ratburn. How do you think I feel now? Have you ever told the truth when it was hard? What was that like? Explore what else I could do. Okay, class. Time to hand in your history projects. Buster, that looks very creative. And Francine, where's your project? You know, I did my project, but our water pipes burst yesterday. A lot of stuff was ruined, including my project. Francine, that's terrible. You'll have to do your project again, of course, but I'll give you until next week. Furthermore, I'll call your parents tonight to see if they need help cleaning up. Water can do a lot of damage. Call my parents? I can't believe Mr. Ratburn is going to call my parents. How do you think I feel? Has this ever happened to you? What lie did you tell? Did you get caught? I felt a lot better telling the truth than telling a lie. Why do you think I felt better? That was a tough morning. I hope the rest of the day goes better. Time to go to lunch. The Crown City Soccer Invitational? Ugh. The only goal I scored was when the ball accidentally bounced off my head. Everyone laughed at me. Stupid soccer game. I don't even want to see this. Hey, no littering. What is that, anyway? Put the pieces together. Hey, didn't you just play in that game? How'd you do? How should I answer that question? I don't want them to laugh at me. I wonder what I should do. Here are some things I could do. Explore what might happen. How did I do? Play That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. Should I have told... Explore what else I could do. 
How did I do? I played pretty well. In the middle of the game, I had to tie my shoe. I saw the ball coming and I stood up just in time to head the ball into the goal. That's great! Nice job! I told a little lie. How do you think I feel now? Do you think it's okay that I told a little lie? If it didn't hurt anybody, why? Explore what else I could do. How did I do? I scored a goal. I ran at top speed and headed the ball into the goal just as the whistle blew. Everyone cheered for me. Wow, you're such an amazing soccer player. Maybe you could help me practice this weekend. Definitely. I didn't tell the truth, but you know what? I usually play a lot better than I did this time. So, do you think it's okay that I told this lie? Why? How do you think I feel now? My friends laughed at me when I told the truth, which made me feel bad. But telling a lie, big or little, made me feel kind of weird too. Plus, then I'd have to keep lying. Which choice do you think was best? Is there something else I could have done to tell the truth without feeling embarrassed? Phew! Being honest can be tricky. Well, it's time for recess now. Francine, I've been looking all over for you. I'm inviting you and Prunella to a sleepover on Friday. Just us three girls. Can you make it? It'll be a blast. Sounds great. I'll be there. Perfect. I'll have Bailey get all the Henry Screever movies. We can have a marathon. See you Friday. Oh, and don't tell Sue Ellen. She's been annoying me lately, so I'm not inviting her. Put the DVDs in the case. Match the patterns. Sue Ellen, I found these movies in the grass. Did you drop them? Oh, yes. Thank you for finding them. Do you want to come over and watch them Friday night? Uh, do I want to come over Friday night? That sounds fun, but I can't make it. Oh, that's too bad. What are your plans? How should I answer that question? I don't want to lie to Sue Ellen, but I also don't want to hurt her feelings about what Muffy said. I wonder what I... Here are some things I could do. Explore what might happen. Well, Muffy invited Prunella and me to a sleepover on Friday. That's why I can't come. Why wasn't I invited? Muffy said that you were, uh, annoying her. Oh, is that so? Well, you can tell Muffy that I wouldn't come even if she had invited me. I told the truth, but Sue Ellen is hurt and angry. 
How do you think I feel? Explore what else I could do. That sounds fun, but uh, I have to go to my bubby's house on Friday. It's her birthday. Oh, okay. I'm disappointed, of course, but grandparents do come first. Say hi to your bubby for me, and tell me all about the party. It sounds like fun. I told a lie, but Swellen's feelings aren't hurt. Do you think what I did was okay? Why? How do you decide when to tell the truth? What makes it easier or harder to decide? Are some lies worse than other lies? When could it be okay to tell a lie to protect someone's feelings or even your own feelings? Why? Was there a better choice I could have made? What could I have done? What if I told Suelle and I was sleeping over at Muffy's, but that she should talk to Muffy herself? Could that be a good way for me to be honest? Thanks for helping me get through my day. You know, being honest isn't always easy, so it's great to have someone to talk things over with.